You focus on the breath. It's food for the mind. The food we get from sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations doesn't last very long. It's like junk food. You eat a little bit and then you get hungry for more, but that doesn't really satisfy you because the more you eat, the hungrier you get. That's because that kind of food weakens the mind. You want food that strengthens the mind. That's why we're meditating here, because we're developing not only a pleasant sensation right here with the breath, but also good qualities of mind, the qualities of mindfulness, alertness, discernment, putting in right effort. All these things really strengthen the mind. So as you go through the day, remember, remember you've got this food source right here. The ability to stay with the breath, keep the breath in mind in the midst of all your other activities. And that gives you st the strength to keep going. Because you look at the world around you and it's a huge mess. And the question is, you're going to wait to straighten out the mess and then meditate? Well, the mess has been going on ever since there have been human beings on earth. So you can't wait to have everything outside perfect before you're going to meditate. You have to meditate in the midst of an imperfect world, which is why the Buddha has us develop selective equanimity. In other words, you're going to be equanimous about the things you cannot change. And then you focus all your efforts on the things you can change, i.e. your own mind. Even people right near you, it's hard to change them many times. But your own mind can be changed if you're willing to do it. That should take top priority, and that's what gives the mind real strength. You, if your strength depends on things outside being the way you want them to, that it's never going to happen. You're dependent on very precise and very limited environments. It's like the koala or the pandas. They, they can eat only one kind of food, and when that kind of food goes, that's it. But you don't want to be like that. You want to have a source of food wherever you go, regardless of the situation, regardless of the environment. So that's why we turn inside to look for the nourishment that comes as you develop these good qualities of mind, together with the sense of well-being that comes with the breath. It's not like the kind of health food that tastes horrible but is good for you in the long term. It's, it tastes good and it's good for you too. So develop your taste for this kind of food, because it's the healthiest food there is. <laughs>